Welcome back to Bangers Bricks, everybody. My name is Ben. In today's video, we're going to talk more about where I've been for the past month, what I've been up to, and most importantly, spending about $800 on Lego. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. We are back, everybody, and I am so excited. It has been too long. It's been about a month since we've had any sort of video, and I am here for it. So we're finally back. Before we do anything else, I wanted to just say congratulations one last time to Cat Coder and Julie Olive, our two winners from our previous giveaway. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining in on our live stream and our giveaway. I had a ton of fun. The conversation was great, and obviously, the company was great as well. So thank you to everybody, again, who joined in. Look forward to doing that again here in the future. Now, let's get back to it. So what have I been up to for the past month? Well, we had a work meeting here in Orlando just about three weeks ago. And unfortunately, that took an entire week. And I did not get a chance, as cool as it sounds to be that close to Disney, we didn't get a chance to go over to Disney. I was very bummed. But um, that being said, we have some positives coming up here. And we have been potentially looking at moving here in the next 30, 45, 60 days, kind of whatever um, we're allowed to, I guess, coming up here. And the biggest negative sides are really working with uh, lenders, um, obviously our realtor is great, but then also working with, um, you know, buyers, agents, potentially on our house, keeping our house clean. And obviously with three boys, it's not easy. <laughs> um, but just doing some touch up paint and stuff like that around the house has been, uh, just taking me away from doing a lot of Lego stuff, not just for myself, but also with my kids and the big plus, right? If we're buying a new house, I'm excited as it's a nice big house, nice big lot, uh, big area for the kids to run around. Um, it's going to be brand new build. So it would be a very nice, um, addition for the family. And so I would be super excited about that. Now, the biggest thing that I'm super excited about, and I know my wife probably has other ideas, but my biggest thing that I'm excited about is our Lego closet currently would actually be getting its own Lego room. Yeah, I'll give you a chance to freak out just as much as I freaked out. As my wife finally said, yes, I will allow you. <laughs> uh, we worked out together and yes, we would have uh, my own Lego room and it would be a dedicated Lego room for not just me, but the kids as well. So super excited about the possibility there. Um, and if that's not enough, lastly, we've been potentially moving on in a different career path as far as with the same exact company that I work with, but with a different position. And so obviously preparing for interviews and um, networking and you know, obviously talking to different people about uh, potential opportunities within the company. It's just been a lot of work. So over the past month, it has been jam packed, but I am excited to get back to Legoing as we have a big video here. We are going to be dropping about $800 in Lego and I'm here for it. So let's get started and let's go to Lego store. Let's check out what they have and uh, we're gonna be buying a big set today. Here we go. All right, everybody. So we're here at the mall and I've been taking a look at the Lego room and I think we're gonna go down a little bit of a different route in that the Disney castle in the greenery area, I I don't think it's working for me. So we're gonna try to transition into something different. And I wanna see, we've recently come into a little bit of money. So we're gonna see what we can find that could potentially replace our Disney castle in the green area area. So let's go check it out, see what we can find. Before we walk in the Lego store, in case anybody was wondering, they do have the Easter Bunny set up in the mall here. And uh, 10, 10, 10 out of 10 that my kids would be freaked out. Not a chance that they would sit with the Easter Bunny. But more importantly, let's check out what they got in the Lego store. Well, since we're in here, first thing we'll do is check the pab wall. I still have not used the boxes. I know they've been out for almost about a month now. Still have not used them. So kind of depressing as to how many pieces we've been buying from the Lego store lately. But um, again, nothing too crazy new here today. We got a lot of uh, different elements, tires and stuff to build uh, vehicles. I will say from a color standpoint, this is probably the most color I've seen on a pick and brick, pick and build wall. But um, overall, just not a ton of pieces that I need. Um, I do want to get some of these different snot bricks, but I want to get them in black and brown as we're going to be building some new trees cut one element i debated on getting today was these different um, leaf or bush elements not leaf elements bush elements um, or shrub elements just because they do make for uh, great uh, tree branches so definitely an idea there that we're gonna potentially be picking up here in the near future but otherwise just not a ton besides some of the different um, colors here we do have some uh, one by eight uh, 
arches, um, to different leaf elements, webs. Um, definitely uh, some of these rounded plates. Reminds me of the new Disney castle, which I have something to talk a little bit more about on that here. So let's check out some of the different sets that we might be buying here today. So starting back up here towards the front, I mentioned on our live stream giveaway that was about a month ago, just how much I really liked the medieval blacksmith that we recently purchased. And so far I've been, uh, I've been digging some of the medieval sets, really medieval town square. I like the Lionite's castle and really just a lot of the different um, night uh, sets that I've been recently seeing. So definitely something we're gonna try to look a little bit further into and potentially expand on. But really what I'm trying to do is again, replace the Disney castle that's up there and on the second tier. And uh, definitely let me know if you think that's a mistake, but uh, a couple sets that I've been looking into. Obviously we still need to get the National History Museum, the Throza Modular. Looking into the Orient Express, but one set that I think we're gonna purchase today is the Lord of the Rings Ribbon Devil. I think that the set would look absolutely amazing on our second tier up there or our uh, rock platform up top. So definitely one that I think we're going to be purchasing today. Definitely a hefty price tag, but really love this set. I think it'll look great. My kids will be stoked when they see it. Speaking of greenery area, definitely going to be snagging Snow White's Cottage here. I absolutely love the set. I think the minifigures are great. Um, not a huge fan of the open back, but I see that Brick Artisan already has the closed back for it or the mock for the closed back. Um, and although I say that, you know, I want to get rid of the Disney castle, I love the Disney castle and I'm still looking at potentially getting the new Disney castle at some point. And, um, I've been in talks with somebody on marketplace to, uh, snag one that's been used, but actually been uh, reverse built. So it would definitely be an easy one to put together. So definitely going to keep you guys updated on that one. All right. To end thing, to round things out, I definitely forgot that I need to pick these up for my son Oliver. He's gonna love Shadow and Knuckles to complement Sonic and Tails. On top of also getting Stitch, I have not seen Stitch much lately, so definitely be snagging one of those. All right, everybody. When I say we're back, we're back. Let's go. We got it. We picked it up. Super excited about it. It is gonna go where the Disney Castle currently is. So. In case anybody was wondering, we'll do a little bit more of a review, but this will fit perfectly where the Disney castle is, especially since it kind of takes a little turn. So I feel like it's going to really um, take over more of the uh, rock platform than what I think it's going to. Uh, one of my buddies just built it. So it was super excited to see the dimensions and really how it filled out a certain area within his Lego city. But it doesn't stop there, right? We have our brick heads, our two or I guess three brick heads that we got. We have Shadow and Knuckles. And then we also have Stitch. And I was kind of excited. I have not seen Stitch in my Lego store for a little while. And whenever it comes in, apparently it just goes out just as quick. So I was excited to finally grab uh, grab Stitch. Uh, a couple of different um, Sonic themed brick heads as well. Oliver is going to be super stoked. Now the fun doesn't stop there. I know I've talked about taking the Disney castle out and it's not because I dislike the Disney castle. I actually love it, but I think it's going to be a little more of a display piece up on our shelving. And since I love the Disney castle so much, I actually want to try to pick up the new one. And I've been having trouble because I was like, all right, well, I want to save up to buy the Lord of the Rings set and picking up Rivendale. But then if I buy that, I haven't been able to pick up the Disney castle. Well, I just found one for right around $200 on, um, not brick, I almost said Bricklink, on Marketplace. And she actually reverse built it. So it's in bags already. And she already sent pictures, got all the minifigs. So I think we're supposed to meet up here in just about an hour. So let's go see if everything goes smoothly and uh, see if we can snag that today too. All right. So successful meetup. We did meet with the nice young lady that was selling the new Disney castle. And I'm excited to say, not only did we pick up Rivendale today, expensive set, and not only did we pick up the brick heads, Ollie's gonna be stoked. We also ended up picking up the new Disney castle. Yes, that's right. We spent way too much money today, but our backlog looks insane. And I know over the course of the next few weeks here, we are going to be very busy. So the one thing I was pretty excited about, I actually already uh, checked this out here and the fact that she did reverse build it. Um, obviously it's not done by exact bags, but she did do every like three bags. So we have like, bag two, three, four, bag one is by itself. And then this is bag like five, six, seven. Instructions are all there. Mini figs are all there. No cracks or anything, looks great. So I'm, I'm excited to get to build all this stuff. Now, unfortunately, obviously this uh, Disney castle and our Disney castles 
gonna be more of display piece up on our shelves but overall we got a lot to do and the one thing i'm really excited about is to see just how excited my kids are ollie is going to be stoked about the disney cast so i know that's one that he's seen in some of the different uh, uh brick clicker videos and he has been really excited for so let's go home and kind of see what uh, their overall impression is all right we just got home and ollie is super excited he's so excited we got the disney castle and i haven't shown him exactly what's in the bag yet so we're gonna see what Ollie thinks. All right, Ollie, why don't you take a look and see what it is. <gasps> Mighty and Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Knuckles and Mighty. And, and, it, and it's Stitch. And Stitch. Woohoo! We get to add them. We already have Tails and Sonic. Sonic. And this is gonna be pretty sweet. We get to you add it to our collection. It. Hey, I want, I want to show everybody the shelf. Okay, let's go show everybody our shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go show everybody the shelf. All right. Make sure you turn the light on. Okay. Oh, there's yeah. There's Tails and Sonic I built. Yep. There's Tails. There's Sonic. Got all of our brick heads on our nice shelves. Ooh, I'm excited to get them built and adding them in. Yeah, buddy. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. I had a ton of fun going to the Lego store, purchasing a few massive sets. What an awesome Lego haul today. And I know Ollie is super excited to build a few things here. So please make sure you guys stay tuned. Like, subscribe down below. And as I mentioned before, we are back and we are both very excited. Yeah, I'm excited about Stitch and Mighty and Knuckles. Yep. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.